I have a little bit of DuckDB SQL over here that I would like to improve, and we're gonna work towards a plugin that I think is really likable. So what does a SQL do over here? Well, it's doing some joining. We've got an invoices table over here. We've got a customer's table over here, and we're making some selections. We're doing something with the columns, and then we're joining. That's all well and good. But the thing I can't help but notice is that this is nested. Over here, I'm defining a intermediate table, so to say, and from that table, I'll be selecting a few columns, and then that is going to be some sort of a table that has a name, and then I'm joining, and the thing that's hard about this is that you quickly find yourself reading from inside to outside in order to really understand what is happening in this query. And this is also one of the reasons why sometimes SQL can be much easier to write than it is to read. The SQL query does work though, and I can go back up, I can see the results over here, I'm able to swipe through the pages, and if I wanted to, I could take this result and go on and use polars from here, because Marimo allows me to do that. But what I can also do is maybe try and improve the SQL instead. And that brings me to common table expressions. If you use these with statements, like over here, you can effectively assign a name of a table as an intermediate result, and then refer to that later. This way, I have a table on top over here, and I've got a second table down below over here. And by the time that I'm making a join, it's not really nested anymore. I'm just referring to this table name in the join down below. And to me, at least, this is already a great step forward into making something that is more readable. There is, however, also a different direction that we could take, and that is that we're going to go in the direction of psql, which is a variation of SQL that you can add as a plugin, which gives you this extra syntax. And in particular, it gives you this pipe symbol that really allows you to chain commands together, kind of like method chaining in Python, as you're used to from DataFrame land. And if you want to use psql, it'll look a little bit like this. Note that in order to run this, I am making sure that I've installed psql and that I've got this plugin loaded. That is something you have to do up front. But from here, everything is pretty much this, then that, then that. First, I'm saying from a link, load a CSV file, and then do a filter with this where clause, then select a couple of columns, then do another filter, then do another select, etc., etc., etc. You can really read this entire query from top to bottom, from left to right. And I might argue that this kind of feels like you're writing SQL, like you would if you were using a data frame library in Python. Now, before wrapping up, there's one final quick win that I do want to quickly mention. And that is that if you are writing these kinds of SQL queries inside of DuckDB, inside of Marimo, then you should pay attention to this little output variable bit at the bottom over here. In, in these cells where you can write SQL, you can actually declare the name of this output variable, which will then allow you to pick that up in Python and then treat it as a data frame from there on. So let's just call this a psql result. And in a new cell, I should now be able to do psql. There you go, it auto-completes. And I've got a data frame at my disposal. So just as a quick silly example, let's say I want to scatter chart and uh, take the customer ID, compare that to the uh, sum of the income. Then there you go. I'm able to take my DuckDB SQL and pass that along to Python to make pretty charts super easily. Especially when you consider that you can also use the plugin ecosystem from DuckDB uh, straight from Marimo. This is uh, super nice.